This is the guide on how to get Arch Paladin. Now, if you're a mid to end game player, you should probably get this, especially if you want to be fighting ultra bosses. So you start off by going to slash join Dark Throne Hub, click on Arch Paladin. This is a lot easier if you have the Paladin class already, and you can click Current Paladin and do these quests instead. But like most people, if you don't have the Paladin class, uh, you want to do Paladin Recruits and start off with a strong base. For this quest, you'll need Stone Paladin Armor and Exalted Paladin Seal. To get the Exalted Paladin Seal, you click Rep Shop, and you buy this, but you need rank 10 good and 500,000 gold. If you get rank 10 good as fast as possible, you want to go to slash join mana. And you want to complete the area, this area and do all the quests. Then you can finally reach the boss room at the end of this map. And over here you accept that paradise is not so nice quest. And kill this boss with 18,000 HP multiple times. And you turn it in for 700 uh, good reputation. Next you want to go to Doomwood, click world map and go to Temple of the Light. And over here, you have to complete this uh, storyline area. Click on Temple Shop, and you wanna buy the Stone Paladin Armor. And once you do that, you can turn in the quest a strong base. Now the next quest is pretty self-explanatory. You wanna kill all these monsters as shown here. So first you wanna to go to Slash Join Doom Vault, and you wanna to go to Binky. Well, to get to Binky, you have to complete this area first. And you're probably going to need a party to help you with Binky, unless you have like Void High Lord or something. Next you go to Slash Join Banished, and you have to complete this area too to get to the boss. Or if you have a friend who's completed the area, you can just go to them. And here you kill the Death Trap Moya. And next you want to go to Slash Join Doom Kitten. And this thing can heal itself every time you, you do critical hit. So you want to use a class like Blaze Binder that rarely does critical hits. Or you might want to get a party to help you with it. And next you want to go to Slash Join Dread Haven. And if you kill Dreadhaven General, and next you want to go slash join Vorger the boss and click continue. And over here you just want to kill Vorger, which is pretty easy. And finally you want to go to slash join battle under B. Over here there will always be people farming and you just want to kill a thousand of these until you get 1000 undead energy. And once you've done this you can turn in the quest Proof of Valor. So this next quest is also pretty self-explanatory, just kill the monsters in these areas. Okay, so first you go to Slash Join Zantown, and you just do a bit of a walk down here. You will first have to kill the monster in the area and do the quest line to get to Zan. And here you just kill Zan. Next you go to Karok and Slash Join Northstar. Now, if you haven't done the quest line, you can just go to someone in the map. But if you have, then you can just directly go to him. So here you just kill Karok, and then you can move on to the next monster. Then we go to Slash Join Thunderfang, and we just need to kill one of the lightning balls in this area. Like over here. And then you want to go to Slash Join Downward, and I think you have to complete this area first uh, to, get to, to get to the monster. But if you haven't, you can just go to someone in the map. And just kill this thing. And then we go to Slash Join Dragonheart. And just kill this Draculich until uh, you're done. Then we go slash join farm. And we just kill this tree ant. And finally we go to slash join third spell. And then you want to go to slash join third spell. I just want to kill all the monsters here 200 times until you get 200 nightmare kibble. And once you have done this you've completed master and arcane. Next we want to do the quest for those who have fallen. First we want to get the Holy Hand Grenade. To get this you need a rank 10 good, so make sure you have that. You're going to go to Slash Join Castle. Over here you just walk up to King Altion. And click on Good Reputation, Rep Shop. And you want to buy the Holy Hand Grenade. Next you want to go to Slash Join Manor. And here you walk to the boss once again and you kill the Bird of Paradise. You just kill this thing about 20 times. Then you go to Slash Join Doomwood. You want to kill the soldiers in these areas until they drop uh, the shoelaces of fallen paladins. And finally you want to go to Slash Join Fosha. So when you go to Fosha you have to complete this quest line and then you can walk over here and you can just kill the boss. And once you've done that you complete the quest and you can move on to the next one. Now you can do commandment and for this you need these three items. So you want to go to Slash Join Brightfall and you want to kill the painted in overlord I think. And once you kill him, the item should drop. Next you want to go to Slash Join Citadel. And over here you can just like go to someone if you don't want to walk all that way. And over here we just go kill the Grand Inquisitor. And next we go to Slash Join Alliance. 
And we kill this little good lieutenant. And finally this uh, quest is complete. Next we can do him of light. So you want to go to slash join poison forest. And you, so you have to complete the quest line in this area. And here you sort of kill Xavier Lionfang until he drops Divine Elixir. Next you want to go to Slash Join Ultra Alteon. And here you just kill him as part of the quest. And next you go to Slash Join New Finale. Journey Map. Willow Creek. And you just kill this Chaos Healer. And finally you go to Slash Join Sky Tower. You want to go over here and kill these doves. And after this you've done the quest and we can move on to the next one. And now to do Righteous Seal. So you want to go to slash join Zan Cave, and over here you can just go to someone instead of walking, but you could also walk. And you just want to kill the Sherpu Ring Guardian. Next you want to go to slash join Palace. Now if you haven't unlocked this place, you can just get a friend to go there and just go to them. So here you just want to kill Petty Vox until you're done. Next you want to go to slash join Onslaught Tower, and here you just kill these golden uh, mobs. Next you want to go to slash join Spellcraft, you're going to need rank 8 spellcrafting for this, which is pretty easy to get. All you have to do is just make a bunch of different spell scrolls and you'll get a reputation for that. So click on buy arcane quills, a uh, 100k gold voucher, one arcane quill, and you buy this archmage ink. And you click begin, pick an ink, archmage ink, and you want to make this uh, combination right here. And you made some scrolls of ethereal slumber. And finally you should be done with this quest. Now in the final quest, sacred magic Eden. Now here you get different items from different areas again. First you want to go to Slash Join Seraph. First you want to go to Slash Join Seraph. And you kill him until the item drops. Next you want to go to Slash Join Infernal Spire. And once you're here, you just want to kill Malxas. The next one, you go to Slash Join Marsh. You want to kill the Marsh trees until they drop the item. Slash Join Wonders to kill the Lotus Spiders until it drops the Lotus. You go to Slash Join uh, Gyazor and you want to kill the Wist Terrarias until they drop. Then you also want to go to the final boss in this room. You have to complete the area to go to the Nirvana. And here you want to kill the Geyser until he drops the item. And for the final item you want to go to Slash Join Blood Tusk. And here you want to kill these Trollola plants. And here you want to kill the Trollola plants until they drop all 25 uh, items. And once you have all of those items, you will have completed the Sacred Magic Eden quest. And you can click on the Arch Paladin shop here. And you can buy it after you complete the quest or for 2000 ACs.